Hey y'all, Amber here. This week, I have one of my oldest characters, both in terms of legit age and in terms of how long I've owned her. Her name is Holly Remington, and she is a woman of authority. She's basically the queen of the mage world, the head of which that governs said people. Now, the mage council, which is what it is, um, does not govern non-human beings. Things like vampires, lichens, shapeshifters, anything else of that variety. And yes, that includes the almost human beings, like elves, dryads. They would be governed under the triad as well. Anyway, beyond that, she is in a position of power, completely human, and regularly fighting to keep said position. She's a woman, and there are plenty of people within the council that are stuck in the old world ways. As in, they don't believe that a woman can handle any real power. And that they don't deserve it. Holly is the first woman that had the position. And of course, those old fox don't like that. <coughs> now, I feel I should touch on Holly's age. Because she's old. Super old. Because of all of her mana, and she has a lot, it has severely extended her life. Now, a little thing about mana. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it in a previous video or not. But every living being has mana. Even if it's not passive or active or anything of the sort. The spark of life, that spark, that's mana. So, yeah. Mana can affect your life. Your lifespan, rather. <clears throat> anyway, the woman is over two millennia old, and it is purely because of the amount of power that she has. Same with her brother, but I'm not going to go too much into detail about Vincent right now. He will be in a future video. Uh, oh, and she may have some water from the Fountain of Youth stashed away. Not that she wants that information available, of course. Her brother also may have the odd sip from it from time to time because Holly refuses to live her life without her twin brother. He didn't want the position that had been expected to, that he would acquire, Holly's position from birth, and Holly did. So he fought for her to get it after their parents died. Also, their father, Edward, was actually in Holly's position before her, just like his father had been, and his father's father, and so on and so forth. It has been a Remington that has headed the council for as long as the records are around. Anyhow, um, both of their parents had wanted Holly to take Edward's position, as they both believed that she would do a lot of good for the magical world and the community. Edward had even been preparing Holly to take his position, making sure she was mentally fit and prepared in order to actually take on that extreme, extremely stressful task of governing the entire mage world. He was also working to try and prepare those that were below him to accept the change from men to a woman. Or... At least, he'd been trying to. There, of course, were some sticklers for the old ways that wanted a respectable man in the position instead. Anyway, I won't keep going on about that. I'll just finish with saying that despite not wanting the position, Vincent, Holly's fraternal twin brother, ended up taking the head position for a period of about two months. And he did that strictly so that he could turn around after a bit, be like, no, this is too stressful. I'm going to step down and I'm going to name my replacement. And he named his sister. The bulk of the people that worked under her, which were men in that time, were not happy with that. And ever since then, she's regularly... Got it. Like she's regularly, regularly contested for her position. However, she's managed to keep it thus far. 
Upon acquiring her position, Holly received her ring. It was the same ring that all those before her had worn, had put on put a piece of their mana into. That one ring, housing all that mana, boosts her own extremely. Holly's mana has always been ridiculously strong, but the addition of the ring ring made it far, far stronger. Granted, her ring is not the only magical item that she owns. In order to help manage the abundance of mana that she has, Holly is always with her staff. It was a gift from her father and is actually up from a smaller, thinner piece of a branch from Yggdrasil. I probably butchered pronouncing that. It most definitely helps to maintain the mana, as does the emerald that she has in the head of it. Because if she lost control of that mana, it would be disastrous. No one wants to take that chance. <clears throat> so, Edward bought... Well, I'm not sure if he bought, he found, he commissioned, he... Whatever. Edward gave her that staff when she was a teenager in preparation for what he hoped she would be able to do with little difficulty in the future. Because of her position at the council, Holly has spent the bulk of her life as a single woman. She had a few brief flings, but nothing particularly serious for the longest time. And by that I mean for seemingly forever. She is not afraid of getting down and dirty with somebody in the bedroom. She's had plenty, plenty, numerous uh, partners in the past. However, <coughs> nothing, as I said, nothing serious, nothing that stuck. Most of them were just honestly people who wanted to have her as a tro trophy wife because she's quite a trophy being like the most powerful um, mage on the planet. However, in the 1930s, she met someone. They connected far more than she'd ever experienced in the past. Please ex ignore my discord. Um, connected far more than she'd ever experienced in the past. Far more than she thought was even possible. And... <sighs> it wasn't meant to be. During the next decade, keep in mind she met him in the 1930s. During the next decade, he learned, she learned he had a specific religion. And since they were both living in Europe at the time, actually, Holly was born, raised, and still lives in Wales. Well, he didn't reach the end of that decade. I don't want to go into detail because you all know what happened in that time span. I don't think I need to go into detail. But I also don't want to because I honestly don't want to deal with the potential of YouTube coming down on my ass or some shit. I don't know. I, I, I'm scared of the all-powerful YouTube gods. Uh, I'll be honest. I don't want my channel... Um, you know, in trouble. Especially since I use this channel to watch stuff. Never mind posting these videos. Anyway, moving on. Holly was collected as well as who was going to be her husband. They were engaged due to the fact that she was involved with a target of theirs. She nearly died along with him, but her mana gave her more protection than his gave him. Plus, they were, of course, separated male, female, you know. That was all that was needed for her brother to show up and save her ass along with her niece and his daughter, Nakia. They weren't able to save her love though, and it broke her heart. After that, Holly was basically married to her work. She refused to get connected with somebody again after that heartbreak, after that trauma. Because, honestly, the first time she ever felt a real, solid connection that she thought she could actually live for millennia with, if that's how long her life would be, 
he, he was cruelly torn from her. It scarred her. And she wouldn't reconnect with anyone else for a few decades. Ugh, actually, by few, I mean like five or six. <laughs> Eventually, she met a liaison from the triad. The triad being, again, the uh, governing body for non-human magical creatures. And the thing is, is he was... Holly knew there would be some animosity in her, with um, him and her brother. <laughs> and there would be a lot of animosity because Vincent was a little bit of a racist at the time. I'll get into that in his video. But um, Hal, the man she met, was a jinn. And... Vincent would not like that. The pair ended up becoming friends. And she didn't tell her brother. I mean, he lived in Canada at the time, so it wasn't really that hard to keep as a secret. They became close friends. And she still didn't tell her brother what he was. Vincent knew of Hal's existence. Just didn't know the specifics. And eventually, at some point, it progressed between the two of them to a real, proper, lasting relationship. Enough of one that he considered ditching his job to move to Wales with her, but she also considered giving up, and in fact she does in the future, her position as the head of the council to move in with him. Hal lives in San Diego. Holly lives in Wales. Actually, she lives just outside of Cardiff. So, long distance and all. But they can't, mana, teleportation, that kind of thing is a thing here. So they can see each other at basically the drop of a hat. Now, later on, later in life, she gives up her position, gives it to her niece, who will probably have a video in the future. And she does move to San Diego to live with Hal. Live with the man that she ends up marrying at some point. Anyway. Um, the relationship was ex solid enough that they adopted a little blind girl together. Joint custody. Uh, Holly was only able to approve it because she was the governing body. Since the little girl was a passive mage. And Hal's not a um, regular human anyway. And you know what? That girl was supposed to have a video, and then my file corrupted, and I didn't have a video for her. Which really frustrates me so, so much. Anyway, uh, there's plenty more for Holly. But it's a bit of an unmanaged mess, or it's not fitting for you two. For example, there's a lot more to the whole um, first real love death thing that I just don't really want to go into because I know how YouTube is with um, touchy subjects. And I really don't want to go... Actually, another reason I really don't want to go into detail about that is because I don't want to potentially disrespect in one way or another. At least this way I can leave it vague enough. You know, this is my own world. Not everything's the same. You know what I mean? I want to play it a little safe. So, regardless, next week might be her brother if I can figure out a design for him. I'm not entirely sure. I'll figure it out between now and then. Obviously. I'll probably figure it out in the next couple of days. Um, I have a f bunch of characters left to do, so these videos will be coming for a while. And I'm sorry that this one might not be as interesting in terms of the character as some of the other ones are, but I kind of had to be careful with her content. With a large lifespan like that, yeah. 
Yeah. Plus, a lot of it I had to be careful of because it's more fitting to put into Vincent's story or video. For example, the fact that when their parents died, Holly went and found him despite the fact that he was living a nomadic lifestyle. That would be more fitting for his, right? That's what I think. Anyway, it is 6.30 in the morning. I got to finish editing this. Oh, yeah, and it's Tuesday morning, the day this is going up. So I got to finish editing this and go to bed after uploading it. So thanks for stopping by to watch and or listen, whatever you choose to do. I hope you at least kind of enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you on the flip side. This is Amber out. See ya.